Welcome to my Nintendo E3 2017 predictions video. I thought I was dead early uploading this video in April, but I looked on Nintendo E3 2017 predictions on YouTube, and my word, I've been beaten to the punch already. Seriously, people have uploaded E3 2017 predictions in March, which is just absolutely ridiculous, but... There is a reason why I am recording this video this early and that is down to the fact that my next door neighbours are having an extension so I'm sure there are going to be some um, building work in the background. I'm not sure how loud that will be. It could be overbearing for you to listen to no matter what I do. You know, I could put some background music to try and mask it but I'm not sure whether that will work or not so that is why. I am recording this video really, really early, so yeah, I'm just going to get on with it here on my E3 2017 predictions. Now, one thing I want to say before I get into my predictions is that some of this stuff might get announced or might get covered in a direct before E3 2017, so I'm going to talk about ARMS, and if there is a direct happening before E3, which I think there will be this month, I think arms will get shown off in that direct but if there isn't a direct then pretty much this is everything that I expect to see at E3 2017 from Nintendo. So the first thing is I think we will see a trailer showing off the Zelda DLC. I think we will get to see what, what, what will be coming out to start off with and then I think we will get a trailer showing off what will be coming out later on in the year so i think we will get to see zelda dlc speaking of arms i think if arms doesn't get shown off at a direct i think we will get a heavy focus on arms because if arms isn't coming out in may then i think it will come out in june i think it will come out you know maybe a week after e3 2017 so i think we will get a heavy focus on arms so definitely I'm expecting to see ARMS at E3 if we don't see that before in a direct. So the next thing I think we will get a heavy focus on is Splatoon 2 just because um, that game is probably coming out in July, August. We will get a release date at E3 2017. I think we'll get to see a story trailer as well as um, a multiplayer and focus maybe a gameplay section showing off some of the new things in the multiplayer as well um, maybe showing off some other new features like maybe some local multiplayer options as well so yeah definitely i'm expecting to see splatoon 2 there and um, i definitely think we'll get a heavy focus on that just because i think the game will soon come out after e3 i think maybe a month later i think july august august at the latest i think that is when we will see Splatoon 2 so I definitely am expecting to see it at E3 2017 so I think we'll get trailers for Fire Emblem Warriors which I think will come out in September just like when Hyrule Warriors came out on the Wii U that did come out in September I think that we'll do the same with Fire Emblem Warriors I think Fire Emblem Warriors will come out in September I think we will get a trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 but I think that game will be delayed to 2018 so yeah i think we'll get trailers for fire emblem warriors and um xenoblade chronicles 2 i think we will get a revealed trailer for the new fire emblem game coming out for the switch i do believe it's coming out for the 3ds as well could be wrong on that but that new fire emblem game i think we will get a revealed trailer for it with just a general 2018 release date Super Mario Odyssey will definitely make an appearance at E3 2017. We got that confirmed before, I do believe, in January, straight after the presentation. I think we will get a new trailer for it, as well as you know, a heavy gameplay look. I think we'll get a long gameplay um, you know, trailer, uh, or maybe a, a live demonstration if it is a press conference. I think we will get a heavy focus on Super Mario Odyssey just because that is the big Christmas or ho holiday game so I think they will definitely put a heavy focus on Super Mario Odyssey and I think we will get to see a really deep look at the gameplay so definitely I'm looking forward to seeing more on Super Mario Odyssey and I think we will get a much better look at Super Mario Odyssey 
at A3 2017. So my next prediction is that a new IP will get revealed at E3 2017. And I think it will get a 2018 release date as well. Don't have any predictions for that new IP. But we heard from, I think it was Takahashi, that they are preparing new IPs for the Switch. And I think we will get to see our first look at a new IP at E3 2017. Now, my next um, my next prediction is that Mother 3 will get revealed for the Switch Virtual Console, and I think we will get a better look, or our first look, at what the Virtual Console will be like, and we will get um, a release date for the Virtual Console, and Mother 3 will be the first game that will be coming out for the Virtual Console. So I think Mother 3 will get revealed at E3 2017, just because, um, actually I'm just going to go um, straight on to my next announcement and then explain why I think Mother 3 and Metroid will make an appearance at E3 2017, so my next prediction is that Metroid will get revealed, Metroid Prime 4 will get a teaser trailer, we will not see that much at all, we probably will just see Samus, like Samus's helmet and that's it. With just Metroid Prime 4 2018. And that is it. Or 2019. Um, but I think Metroid Prime 4 will get revealed at E3 2017. And the reason why I think that is because Redjet was asked about Metroid. And I do believe Mother 3. It might have been Smash Brothers. I'm not really sure. But he was definitely asked about Metroid. And he said that Asma uh, this time next year. And something big would have happened. Or something along those lines. Pretty much he teased that by um, next year. Pretty much something would have happened in the Metroid sort of universe. Um, so I think we'll get a Metroid announcement at E3 2017. And I do believe Mother 3 was included in that question. And I think Mother 3 will get announced at E3 2017. So my last Big prediction for the first party lineup for the Switch is that I think we will get an announcement for a Super Smash Bros. 4 port, which will include all of the DLC characters and the Inklings and all of the content from um, the 3DS version as well. I think we will get Ice Climbers as well. I think we will either get an announcement for a Super Smash Bros. 4 port, which will come out in October 2017. And it will come with the Bayonetta Amiibo, Cloud Amiibo and the current Amiibo. They, they will be released alongside a Super Smash Bros. 4 port. Or, I don't think we'll get to see both of these announcements by the way. Which is why I think either one of these two things will get announced. But I think we'll either get a Smash 4 port announcement. Or, Pokemon Stars will get announced for the Switch and 3DS. But... It's not called Pokemon Stars, it will be called Pokemon Eclipse. And that game will be coming out in the October slot, which it did have for Super Smash Bros. 4 port. So, I think we'll, you know, I don't think we'll get to see both. I think we will either get one or the other. And I am actually leaning towards Pokemon Eclipse for the Switch. So, that is my big announcement to go alongside Metroid Prime 4. And that basically concludes my first party predictions. And let's just move on to my third party predictions um, for E3 2017. And pretty much I'm not really expecting a lot. So I think we'll get to see new trailers for Project Octopath, Octopath Traveler from Square Enix. I think we will get um, you know, a proper name for it as well. I think Square Enix will reveal Dragon Quest 10 and 11 for the West as well. And Skyrim will get a bit of a focus in the E3 2017 press conference or digital event. By the way, that will be my last prediction. If you haven't um, watched the previous video that I did make, um, basically I will just give you my prediction on whether I think E3 2017 from Nintendo will be a press conference or... A direct but I definitely think we'll see Skyrim I think we'll get um, pretty much a new trailer for Skyrim on the switch and we will get a release date for it as well I think we'll get a trailer for FIFA 18 but I think that trailer will just be the same as what 
um, the other consoles got. Um, I don't think we'll get to see like exclusive features like you know being able to play FIFA on the move in that trailer. I think that trailer will be the same across the board. So I think we'll get a FIFA 18 trailer in there. Sonic Forces will get a brand new trailer as well. I'm not sure whether Sonic Mania will be out by the time E3 2017 hits. If it isn't, then I think we'll get a Sonic Mania um, trailer as well. I think Monster Hunter will be announced by Capcom for the Switch. And I think it will be Monster Hunter Double X or Double Cross as it's known in Japan. Um, so that is my big announcement from Capcom. And pretty much I think we'll get another major announcement. And I'm sort of leaning towards either Rocket League or Overwatch. I am leaning more over towards Rocket League. Just because Rocket League for the Switch has been talked about for quite a while now by 505 Games. And recently led by the publisher Psychonics. So I think we'll get a reveal trailer for Rocket League. And I think that will come out in 2018. So... In terms of other third party games, I don't think, obviously by the time um, E3 would have happened, Star Wars Battlefront 2 would have been revealed. So uh, maybe if Star Wars Battlefront 2 will be coming out for the Switch, then maybe we'll get to see a revealed trailer for that. Um, same with Call of Duty, but having said that, Activision normally announces Nintendo um, Call of Duty versions later on, like in August time. So... Maybe we won't get a Call of Duty announcement until then. But that is just pretty much it for my um, predictions for E3 2017. And pretty much I think Nintendo will do a press conference. I did make a separate video talking about that. Um, so I'll leave a link to it in the top right. But that is pretty much everything that I think will get revealed at E3 2017. Now I might, I might make a part 2 to this video. Um... Nearer, nearer the time if I do have any more predictions but I don't think that will happen just because um, like I said earlier my next door neighbours are having an extension that will be heavy building work and I'm not sure how long that will go on for it could go on beyond E3 um, so I'm not sure how long that will go on for so the background noise will be pretty much heavy throughout the day so like I said earlier, I'm going to try and mask it as best as I can, but I might not be able to make as many videos as I can based on the background noise that will be happening over the next couple of months. So that is why I am making this video now. I'm not waiting until May time. That is when I normally do make this um, type of video. I know it's sort of weird to make this video in the first week of April, but I just I'm, I don't know when I can make this video. So that is why... I will, you know, that's why I'm making this video now, just because I don't know whether I will be able to make this video later on due to the background noise, which will be happening based on the fact that my next door neighbours are having an extension. So that will be heavy building work, which will be a lot of background noise, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know your E3 2017 predictions in the comments section below. And... Yeah, that's just it for this video and I will see you next time. Goodbye.